Deck. Hello, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to be making a robot. A robot. So, uh, uh, as you can see, I've got my learning block here too, if I don't know uh, what it means. So, um, so, so, I, ha I have, I have, uh, like, lots of, I have, I, I have to make a robot, but I have to make it with lots of different junk around my home. And I have, to, I have to at least make one moving part. But today, I am going to make two moving parts in my robot. So let's get started. Today we will be going to need... Um, we, today we are going to be need one, um, one of these tin cans um, for the neck. Um, one of the... Um, a Capri Sun... A uh, Capri Sun orange box for the chest a uh, chest two um two apple juice apple juice uh, apple juice container boxes and then finally uh, um and somewhere else we need one of uh, one of the, uh, the one of these two um one uh, um two uh, two tropicana bottles one a uh, uh, two tropicana bottles just broken by in the half and some uh, some buttons this is the legs Th these are the legs i won't be able to put it on this like this because um because these pointy parts keep on not letting me put the box on there so what i'm going to do i'm going to use these scissors to chop off these um this box these lines of boxes on each of container um, cutting the holes I'm going to see if this is standing up so let's see so now I can I have seen it is standing up um, quite clearly um, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to try and make the legs move I am going to wrap the chest plate um, into some foil so it actually looks like real metal that I've made out in a robot but then after that I want uh, um, I am going to put a thread hole in here um, uh, in here and then punch the thread hole uh, and, and then and then just put this um, metal wire into here and then I'm going to put a um, wooden 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 um, wire uh, on the metal metal wire I'm going to put a wooden um, like you know one of those cardboard ones and and then I'm just going to wrap it around and then if this goes up that means it's going to not move and then we can like move the legs like this so yeah wooden wooden cardboard here I um, I have wrapped this around and now it th when I pull this up it cannot move it cannot like get out so now I can like move this leg I can do whatever I want to I'm going to I'm going to attach this leg onto here by putting a wire through this um, little tiny gap and then I'm going to release it through one hole even though so I'm just going to put my hand in here and get the um, get the string and then what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to I'm just going to um just lift this up because I need to stand up and then yeah when I just put this up the leg is attached and now it can move one two, one body part. Uh, so the uh, since I put the leg and the, the chest plate together, now I'm going to put the hand as the Capri Sun box. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this wire down here, and then I'm just going to put my hand through here. After that, you just squeeze the wire through here, and then there's a tiny gap in here. Make sure you may, um, get uh, your adults help. To get the tiny gap out, you just um, put the wire d down there, and then I'm just going to put the wire until it's going to get out, and then you've got your own moving arm. But we just need to put some cardboard in here so it doesn't, so the metal doesn't get out. Yeah. Now, since 
since I've did this, I'm just going to wrap this like this, and then so I'm good, and then you want to do this, you want to do this on the same other side on the left. I made the moving hand and moving leg. Now you have to do the both on the other side, but it's going to be wrapped foils. The legs first. You will just want to keep the leg in the middle. Then you just um. Then you you put uh, you fold the leg really hard and keep it like this. <laughs> then you want to keep the other side like this. But then after you you do what you do with these bits, you um scrunch them up inside. Uh, and then the other one you just scrunch up. And and then you just want to you just want to wrap your. So now I have made the robot on both sides. Now I am uh, I have wrapped this this in foil, like so it looks like metal as uh, metal as you can see. But I'm going to add a little bit to the um, robot uh, to the uh, robot's hand. But be careful because there's this metal wire and it might hurt you, uh, and this might be dangerous. So I'm just just going to attach this. So this these this could just be the arm. Yeah, so I'll be uh, I'll be back when I'm finished. So now I'm going to tell you how to make this. But first, um, as you can see, I've cut it. So you want you want to take the um, lid off, and then you want to you want to cut about I don't know half of it, and then and then and then when you wrap this in foil, it would rather look like this. Or if you want to cut it, it it would rather look like this. For like these are the thumbs and arms. Um, I I am going to join them together in one in one of the arms. So I've done one, and now I'm going to do the second one. And um, now this is going to make your arms like so. So, so these like are the thumb and thumbs and one. But the legs now it looks so good that you can even see it. And then now, as you can see, now we can move the hand. Did it? I, uh, isn't the robot has status so we have um we have this this button and and then you just um you just do the do the thing you just um do something like this so there's a metal wire and then you just punch a hole through it and then the other wire goes through here so it's like one of those um gym banners that French people have for the for the necklaces, yeah, uh, and then you just do, and then the metal wire goes through the other hole, and then, and then, yeah. Now it looks like one of the same. And now, finally, you want to poke holes through here, and then you can stick this through, and then it looks like buttons, and then you can like twist it around and stuff. I have um, did that. I haven't did this yet, but I have did the two over here. So like these are buttons you can twist it and stuff. But I have to do one, uh, like two more buttons, and I'm going to show you how. First, you need to punch through holes in this, and then you 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 want to have your metal string up. You want underneath over here. You just um you just put your put your metal uh, screw through through here through the holes, and then. And then get another, get another, uh, get, get the other side, this other side of the metal uh, screw. You just um, f um, f you just put it through here. You just put it through here, and then you just you just pull the metal, the metal, the metal, the metal string through the that is in the right, and then I'm going to just pull it, and then and then yeah. That's all I'm going to be showing you in this one. Now, to punch the holes through here, you just need a scissor and then punch the holes through here. And then, as you can see, I've made the two holes. And then I'm just going to, after that, you just put uh, put the metal wires in here. And then now, 
to make the legs beautiful, um, you you need two uh, you need two of these stuck together, as you can see, and then and then these are metal, so they're like metal like this, and then and then to make it beautiful, these are like the legs that humans have. So I'm just going to put these legs on here, and then yeah, it looks like human legs. The most final part and the most fun part, we're going to be making the head and a neck. So first, I want to, like, this is the neck, and we would want to um, wrap this in foil. So we're just going to put the neck in there, as you can see. And then, you can make whatever head. You can make this head, you can make um, these kind of necks, where I'll show you in a minute where you get them. Or you can just make your own heads like this but to draw on it it's not very easy to draw um, and you you need a piece of paper and then draw uh, draw on it and then look it will look like this these heads like Hubert's heads like one of these um, um, so like egg boxes heads so you like it can talk and stuff hello and finally one of your own heads you can make uh, but to make like the drawings in here you need a piece of paper and then draw it but you're going to get these from so uh, I've got this right snowmobile yeah and if you open it as you can see you've got one of these how to make the eyes so first you want to make the metal wire through the eyes and you make sure you tell your adult to uh, make a hole through the gap then you want to you have to make punches in the thing and then and then you just you just um you just and then you just have to you have to you have to just uh, put the metal wires through here keep that and then you just want to put the other metal wire to be making the mouth of this kind of one so let's get started I have did the eyes and the mouth and since I can't stick the mouth on here I'm going to use stapler but I, I'll, st I'll show you one small trick uh, with the eyes this is a very um, simple way when it what you can act when it sleeps by just um, pressing that and then it closes its eyes and then it opens its eyes and closes its eyes the head part I want to show you what's inside the head part so I, I first put the button so they can like twist and stuff. Um, um, the, I have put the eyes on so you can like close and stuff. But I put the mouth on. You can put whatever your mouth you want. Put the arms on. The arms can move. The legs can move. That's all I'm going to show you today. So now I'm going to show you which a body part can move. First, the head can move. It's saying hello. Hello. Second, the arm can move. These two arms can move, third, the legs can move, and that's so. But then it can do a dance. But but thanks for watching my video. Bye.